any and everybody who might be subscribed and watch. I appreciate it. I really do. Riddles of Rants. I want to start off talking about uh, Nick Bloomfield. I never really mentioned Nick Bloomfield in any of my shit because everybody else is kind of already doing it. The, the, the most person was uh, Tanique. Tanique was, uh, he had brought up Nick Bloomfield or whatever. Uh, Reggie brought up Nick Bloomfield, but I don't think a lot of people have paid attention to you know, a lot of shit that, that Reggie was saying or just like taking a lot of this shit that he had been saying over the past, what, six months starting this year or whatever. So. Nick Bloomfield, you know, came out with his documentary about, you know, who killed Tupac and Biggie and shit. And, you know, Reggie was in there. Shit Knight was in there. Uh, uh, Kevin Hackey was in there. Um, uh, Gene, Gene Dell was in there. Lil C's was in there. Valletta Wallace was in there. I forgot uh, who else I could think of whatever. There's, there's a couple other people that was in there But like this is where like all the shit This is where you get your RJ Bonds And, you, and your J mixes from And everything because of that film you, you get it because of that I mean this is what they, Suge Knight was still in jail He was still in prison at this time The first time You know what I'm saying So that's where you get all this shit from that's where you get all these all these different communities and everything from is from that that single uh, point in time on YouTube when it came to uh, you know Tupac and Biggie. It was it was who killed him. It wasn't no no nothing on YouTube yet about you know him being alive. Although there were always discussions going around in the comment section and shit like that about Tupac being alive. And just nobody really made consistent videos on it about what we already knew or what we heard and shit like that you know it was just like you know certain people would talk about it and then there were certain people who made pages uh directly around it you know and there are some people who had other pages set up for other things and then dab into the conversation because of their relation to tupac not relation as in family relation but in relation as like you can relate to him you know it, it, it's beyond being a, a fan or a stand of his music and everything like that and who he was and he died and him you know being a black panther is, is beyond that or whatever so you know i want to talk about that a little bit and you know i want to talk about like the tupac the tupac community becoming something like you know the new conscious community because a lot of us have have adopted the uh i wouldn't even say a lot of us because like i said the, the tupac community is small it's very small compared to other channels who deal with other things like the hip-hop hip-hop music and hip-hop media and things that going on in the media that's bigger than the tupac the tupac community uh the comedians who have their community that's bigger the conscious community, the center fold, the, the conscious community have a, a, a bigger audience than the Tupac community. The black politics, people who talk about politics and black politics and black empowerment and shit like that, which is kind of like the conscious community, but they their community is bigger. You know, but it's like everybody still has a set in it you know there's a section of people in the conscious community everywhere else you know it's like the lbgt i'm pretty sure they got a conscious community like i said black politics they got a conscious community comedians have a conscious community you know so this 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 uh tupac community is very small so it's not very very many people who are talking about you know Tupac whether he he him being alive him being dead or just paying tribute to him you know because that's a lot what YouTube started out with with, with, with Pac as well is the tributes and shit like that you know but like I said it was still us in the goddamn comment section who was saying Tupac was alive we've been saying it but just that no videos were out nobody was doing videos on it and shit at that time 
It was a different time, a different point in people's lives and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, one person can't just sit here and claim that the Tupac community is their own. You know, or, you know, saying like, you know, pretty much, oh, uh, I started this part in the Tupac community, whether him him being dead or alive. You know, it, it, all that shit is just groupy, small talk shit. All that is. So it's like, you know, like I wanted to make a, mi- a little mission statement as well. I want to talk about like, who the hell am I? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing on my channel? You know, like like a little mission statement. Why I choose to talk about Tupac and, and most importantly, why I choose to talk about why he's alive. Now, when you start talking about when, uh, Tupac being alive, then you fall into another subcategory with other people who are talking about Tupac is alive. But the person who wants to stand out, the person who wants all the credit and the kudos and everything like that, goes uh, goes to lay legend. Or he wants to. He, he wants. To, I don't give him. I don't give him that crown. You know, I, like I, I I give him the crown, but I don't. It's like, oh, okay. Like I said, like consistency. Like yeah, for a whole year you was talking about Tupac. None of your videos was about anything else but Tupac. But there are other people who have other channels who. Who also have a, 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 a you know a, a, a subsection of speaking about Tupac, and also they do other shit. You know, <clears throat> he wants to be credited for being the originator and you know the professor of the shit and everything like that. And was Dickens was already doing it. You know, and it's like like I said, like his, his, his shit didn't start out as as Tupac being alive like everybody else shit. You know, what I'm saying it started out as something else, which is cool, which is all good. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it just make you think of, like, how active do you really have to be on YouTube? You know? Because at this time, everybody is doing everything on something. There's nothing new under the sun. Everybody is talking about the same thing, or everybody's talking about something that somebody else is talking about. You know, so it's like, it, it, ain't nobody really copying nobody. There's nobody really... Uh, the copy and shit Everybody is doing the same shit Because ain't nobody Came with nothing original And people like You know like I'm pretty sure There's a lot of shit out there On YouTube That people are Want to watch and everything That's original And shit like that But it's, it's always information That's coming from A third party You know Just like You know just There's <laughs> There's talks on Planet X They got their own community Planet X And And Nibiru And 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 And, and uh, the, the planet that passes through you know uh, the galaxy and shit and come uh, c- comes this close in galactic time or galactic measures of coming closer to the earth and fucking everything up and shit and yeah, that's where you get the Illuminati's and everything like that and the reptilians and Anunnaki's and shit like that you know so it's like they got their own community that they have their own conscious community you know so it's like this Tupac community, it's, it, it seems like it's growing, you know, but um, this it, is still people you got to watch out for, though, you know, because you, you see when other channels beat you to the punch about something, it's like maybe you don't feel like talking about it that day or, or maybe, you you know, you got you want to talk about it, but you just want to put it together. But some channels that beat you to the punch. And some of them will be humble about it. They're not gonna be like, "Oh, these these motherfuckers out here copying me and all this other bullshit." It's like, what is this nigga? It's like ten other niggas talking about the same shit, get the same fucking information and shit like that. Because the information about Tupac being alive hasn't changed. Like the only t- the only things that have probably changed are like the uh, they, they got real more popular is the numerology and. The, the Tupac sightings and all these Tupac lookalikes and stuff like that, you know, which is another deeper subject about, you know, how they can, you know, make people look like that's who who they're, you know, uh, talking to or who it is or whatever. Same shit like Michael Jackson. They'll hire people, hire lookalikes to stand in at press conferences and, and shit like that, you know, so that's a whole nother thing. But when they beat you to the punch, like I said, some of them be humble about the shit. And some people like Lay Legend would just start claiming that, you know, they the first to do it and everything else and all this other shit, you know, and it's like, like nobody even created or nobody's even talking about. They're the king of the first how to video. There's a lot of how to's out here. 
how to videos you go to them you can go to them right now how to do this how to do that and everything there's a lot of motherfuckers on there but ain't nobody claiming they the fucking king it's always some motherfucker with the ego who wants to start claiming he the, the creator and the, and the uh, which call it the shit what motherfuckers been doing this shit you know there's there's nobody claiming to be the the king of 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 hip hop news and shit and media and you know it's just, it's just only niggas with the ego. Well, that was like you, you get your first you go your your first taste of something and everything is like that and your fucking ego just go to your goddamn head. Because it's, it's only a moment, so it's, it's just really only a, a point in time, whether it be a couple months, three months, a year, and everything like that. But you know, when you claim to do that and you claim to have that type of power, then you got to show approval because your 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 channel is just going to become obsolete. It's just like people know who you are, and since you have subscribers and they you know subscribe to you and they subscribe to your bell to every time you post up a video, that's really it. Other than that, this shit ain't really going nowhere. That's just depending on who you are, you know. And, and the thing about it is, it can happen with all of us. All of us with the the true ambition and, and the talent to actually bring some shit to YouTube, we probably won't get the audience that we want. But it'd be somebody in there, you know, a couple people, a few people, or a, a couple twenty, a couple hundred of people who who will listen to what you got to say because what you're talking about is genuine. They can relate to it and they can just tolerate it, you know. So it's just like, you know, uh, 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 same thing about like a comic claiming they came up with the first joke. Like, it's just, all this shit is just lunacy. My nigga, it's, it's lunacy. It's like when I when I heard that shit about Lay Legend talking about he the king of this and all, like, hey, you nigga, sit your ass down. Go get your ass out of here with that shit. I'm the first and this, this and that. And you new YouTube channels and shit like that. And I was like, like, like I said, like, He's not talking about everybody, but he's talking about specific people. And one of those people was being me. He just didn't say my name because, like I said, like if, if these motherfuckers think if you say somebody's name, then they're they're gonna go to your channel and subscribe to you and all this other stupid shit. And you giving them shine. It's like get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck are you to give anybody any shine? You're nobody. Just like every fucking body else. And we don't even claim to be somebody. We know we somebody, but we don't just be claiming to, like you know to just to be this, this, and that, and all the other bullshit. Nah, fuck that. It's, it's, it's too much. It's, 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 it's timely, and it's useless. It's, it, there's nothing to do with it. You know, you got to be good at what you're at and what you're doing and how you do it and everything. And the only thing you can manage is that. You know, so. Like I said, like like you know, he, he him claiming that he's the king and making Tupac a live videos is cool, like you know. But what what I'll give him is consistency. That's the only thing. That's the only props I'll give him is consistency. He was consistent on making videos about Tupac being alive, but he's not the creator and the originator and shit like that. Like I said before, he's not the, he he's not the only nigga that's been saying the same thing. Cause there's no new information on that, you know. So like, being that, you know, and a part of my, you know, mission statement and shit like that. Like I, I'm from I'm from Long Beach and Garden Grove, California. I was born in Illinois. I moved from Illinois when I was like four or five, and I moved straight to Long Beach, Southern California. Then we moved to Paramount. Then we moved to Garden Grove. But then it was always family. All of our family stayed in Long Beach. So no matter what, if it was out during the school season or summer vacation we was in long beach we wasn't nowhere else we wasn't in riverside we wasn't we weren't nowhere in the valley we weren't in in in, in uh corona or west covina san fernando valley we wasn't there we was in long beach you know and as a child i found things that i was great at and I practiced and I put put time and effort into doing this shit. Like a many, many YouTubers on here right now. The same fucking thing. Some some of these motherfuckers, you know, they got the talent for it. They can just go in and do it. You know, kind of like I asked the column that I, you know, I, I claim to be in. And there are people who had to learn how to do this or whatever. You know, so, you know, I was an athlete. 
and I was very scholastic, very scholastic. I was very into my education, except I didn't care too much for science and math and shit at the time. So I never sailed like I should have educational wise. I was still a good student though, but I didn't sail like that. You know, I'd, I'd get a 3.4 or some shit like that and be cool with that. You know, I was in the, the I was on the honor roll. I was in the National Junior Honor Society. I did all that shit and everything. So I took my schoolwork very seriously. But like I said, when it came to the arts, that's what I was into. I was into the arts and physical education. You know, but physical education was just like, it was right there. It was, that was it. You know, either you were going to do it or you wasn't. But the arts, there was something different about that. You know, that's one reason I relate to Tupac is because, you know, after I've gotten older, I've noticed that a lot of our experiences have lined up. Like, fuck all the, you know, the, all the gangster talk shit and toting glocks and shit and all that other bullshit and everything. But like the depression part and, you know, and other things, that, you know, about how different people, you know, relate to each other and shit like that. That's just like me. And I'm, I'm going to get into that. You know, because people, different people relate to Tupac differently. You know, and I, I, I'm going to speak on that. You know, and it's like, you know, a motherfucker could, could have had a girl, you know, say some shit about him that wasn't true and he went to jail over that shit. That relates to him. That person can relate to him. A motherfucker could um, have gotten shot a few times and shit and survived. They relate to him like that. Like me, we took the arts together and shit like that. We both moved from place to place and shit like that. And we, we're not originally from California, but like we was there at an early age. Except I was, I was a whole lot younger than Tupac was, or whatever. But it's a lot of different ways that people are going to relate to Tupac and want to speak on him or whatever. So when you get motherfuckers coming in here with their egos and shit like that, then you just gotta learn how to tune them motherfuckers out. Because you, but they ain't really, they're not really holding any type of real power with caliber and shit like that. Because, it's, like, everybody's not gonna say something, but I'm the motherfucker that's gonna say something. I'm always gonna say something. No matter who it is. No matter who it is, I'm always gonna say something. If there's something that needs to be said, I don't have to say it all the time. You know, but you know, I was I was into a lot of writing. So it's like how I talk, how I speak is how I write. That's why I'm able to speak so much. That's why I'm able to speak for so long. That's why my goddamn brain doesn't have a short attention span and I don't have to go off subject or topic or whatever or just really have nothing to say. I just got some shit to talk and then get off. Nah. It's not like me. I was I was very, very into writing. Like I said, I was very scholastic. Very scholastic. You know, a fourth and fifth grader and shit. Writing stories about video games I used to play. Motherfucking Mortal Kombat was my favorite to write about. I would just make up a story and continue it with certain characters and shit. And there was always so many other characters that I could fucking just make up a story about them too later on. But that was just a part of like the classes and shit. It wasn't really nothing. It was just the ability to to, to show the teachers that the who they were to teaching or whatever could write. Uh, stories and they can comprehend and shit like that but I took that shit seriously I took it very seriously I said this is like 94, 95 I'm 8 or 9 years old I wrote my first lyrics those years you know so it's like you know and then when you go back to you know being in Southern California at a time with Tupac before he disappeared you know, Southern California, Tupac was always on the radio. All his radio songs was on the radio from the time that he that he first came out, you know, up until the point where he disappeared. His shit was all always on the goddamn radio. I remember I saw Juice when it came out for the first time on videotape. Raheem was the first person I saw die in the film. First person I saw die. And as a child, I thought like when you died, you know, in the in the film, you actually died in real life. Of course, because I'm like five or six or something like that. That was like 91 or something like that. So I'm like five or six. But that's my first time seeing Tupac was in Juice. My first time seeing him was with, was when when he had hair. Like when he didn't have hair. At at at, at first I'm like, this is a motherfucker that looked like Tupac because I could have swore Tupac died in, in in Juice. But you're still young. You don't get it. You don't understand that the movies are, are that's fake and all this other shit. You you don't start doing that until people. 
tell you like, no, nah, this is this is fake. You're a child. You don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, after that, it was it was it was of course, you know, hard to 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 take um, when Tupac disappeared. Like I I keep saying that now because like I said, I don't think he died. I think he disappeared. So. You know, it, it it was hard to talk about, and then and you know to certain people and shit like that because you were a child. I was ten years old. I was like, well, well, how did he die? And everything, everybody heard it on the news, but you know, you heard everybody. T- and like, nah, it w- it wasn't like that. You know, some of the first people I heard this shit from, he was alive was Hispanics. I mean, they had all the all the albums. They had everything. They had Tupac this, Tupac that. They could afford it. Their parents was, you know, into him and shit like that. It was all types of shit and everything. So n- niggas been hearing that Tupac faked his death and shit like that. And the first, some of the first people I heard it from was Hispanics. I was, I was, you know, cool with or grew up with it. You know, everything like that. You know, and just like that, like I was, and, and, and those conversations would come up because I was into music. You know, that's what my whole channel, my whole channel was a music channel. You know, but. I'm also ex- in, in, um, expanding my media and everything because I can talk like a podcast, a commentator, or you know anybody that I can talk off the you know the the news or anything like that or just anything like you know I'm 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 one of the motherfuckers who who will do debate with you. I'm not gonna get in my feelings. I'm I'm like that type of person when it comes to media. I just try to be all around. That's what the versatility means. I'm versatile. It's versatility, vision, and shit. And sometimes I might hit you with riddles and rants. That's why I named it that. And this is under what the fuck I call ultrasound entertainment, goddammit. You know, so. Um, you know, so it's like, you know, when we was talking about Tupac when I was younger, you know, it was because I used to rap. I used to, you know, uh, well, well, I still do, but, you know, just at that time, like, you know, I was freestyling and shit. I had no equipment. I didn't have nobody who had a studio and shit. The only thing I can do is just rap, rap to, like, like like uh beats that had like you know a, a a track with no vocals and it had a loop and shit and I had to learn how to loop the fucking track on the tape player and shit like that and make a rap to that and hope and hopefully get get to perform it somewhere or some shit like that with some lyrics that I wrote over somebody beat. No, I didn't have nobody who who had the you know the pro tools and shit like that or the fruity loops and shit like that you know for me to record my shit consistently. No. Nah. So it's just like the same thing with YouTube. It's like, you know, some people can't do shit consistently. It's because, you know, it's like there's a certain part of your life. Like, you just can't do what everybody else is doing. But you're still doing what everybody else is doing. It's just that you don't have the funds or the resources to do what everybody else is fucking doing. It's as simple as that. Some people just do this shit for fun just because they can. They know that, oh, I got a YouTube. I got a camera. I might as well just put some shit on there. No, it's actually some people on here who are talented. And you know who want to show their talent and broadcast their talent to the world based off what they do on YouTube. You know, I've been I've been doing music or trying to participate in music, whether it be performing or learning the instrument since I was eight or nine. So I'm not some dude who just turned 20 or 25 and decided now, oh yeah, I'm a rapper, or you know, I'm an artist and shit like that. You know, my only most challenging task right now is mastering and connecting with people who are doing the same thing that I'm doing who have the same ambition who are into the arts you know period you know who are all into media and shit like that that's my audience or whatever and this Tupac shit falls under that it's always gonna fall under media it's always gonna fall under hip hop and music and shit like that so you goddamn right I'm doing this shit too you goddamn right I might not have the, the, the turnout that everybody else has, but I mean, maybe it's not my time, or maybe I'm not the person that people want to hear speak about them. I don't know, but I'm not going to sit here and, and start claiming shit. I'm definitely not going to do that shit. You know, but there's other people on here who going to do that. <laughs> other people up on here who going to keep doing that, talking about it, shit, trying to make a point about it. Yeah, so that's what I'm into. My whole thing is I'm into media. I'm into media. Period. The older I, I, I've grown, 
you know, and the more mature that I done got, I'm able to speak about different things, if not all things, depending on if I have any type of knowledge or if I've dabbled into the subject. If I don't, then I'm not going to talk about it. I mean, there's a whole lot of shit I can talk about. It's just like I said, I have to formulate that shit. I have to put that shit down and, and you know, really do some research about that shit and really talk about it how I want to talk about it. I just don't want to just mention it and make a video just because, you know, so, you know, and it's like it's like people make music all the time and people make all types of different music and shit like that, you know, so it's like it just depends on what person you are. It just depends on the individual and shit, you know. And it's like <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going. I'm not even going to touch it because I already, I already touched on it in, the, in in the last video. If he say something, he'll say something. But it, it ain't no love lost. Like I'm just telling you, homie. I'm just telling your ass. Like I'm not. I'm not that motherfucker that you just gonna sit there and you gonna say something about. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing. You go indirectly say it, and then think like, oh no, this is no. Nah. You know, I don't. I don't do shit like that. I got like I said. If you keep letting somebody do some shit like that, you keep letting somebody do something to you, or, or think they can do something to you, then everybody else think they can do the same thing to you because you didn't check that motherfucker in the beginning. You got to check him in the fucking goddamn beginning. You know. So, but like you know, back to, back to pot. Pot got me through some depressing times in my life. You know, that's like you know, how we was related and everything like that. How how I related to him. You know, we both little dudes. Like I said, we both started out in the arts, drama classes. It was no ballet for me or nothing like that. But that's something he did or whatever. But you know, we were reading scripts and shit when we were children. Like I was reading scripts, like he was reading scripts when he was in school. The same shit. He was thespians, pretty much, putting on the show for our classmates or you know wherever. You know, even after high school. Motherfuckers and been on stage and shit like that. So it's like that's how I related. We were both, in the sense, I was you know at, at the end of the day they'll just call it you know call people like us entertainers and shit like that. But you know there was a certain skill. We had a certain skill. Not everybody else could do what the fuck we was doing, or what we're doing and shit. Not all rappers can freestyle. Put it to you like that. They gotta write some shit down first, memorize it, and then call that a freestyle. So, you know, it's a lot of ways that people relate and everything. You know, like I said, we, we both moved somewhere in childhood and came to California. And like I said, I was just younger. I had problems with my mom just like he had problems with my mom. So my mom wasn't on drugs. You know, older high school kids and the people in the streets was already saying Tupac was alive. It started in 96. When I got to high school, it was the same shit, just like it is now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was already talking about it. First people you hear from is the older people and shit. Uh, Tupac was a Gemini. My father figure, who was, who was actually one of my family members, is a Gemini as well. Three days after Tupac's birthday. That's ironic as hell. He had every album Tupac had had out. And a lot of others. Like, he, he, had, he had a fucking... Um, he didn't have a vinyl collection, but you know he had a CD collection, and I got in trouble with him for stealing his Tupac albums or borrowing them without asking and shit like that because I couldn't afford them. I wasn't supposed to be listening to to profanity, music with profanity in it anyway, because of what it might do to my head and stupid shit like that, you know. But I was just a fan of the art, the beats, to the instruments, to to the vocals and everything it was everything, the production. Everything, the art covers and everything like that. The other people relate to Tupac in different ways. They relate to him because he got tattoos. You know, or, I mean, these would be some females and some niggas like this too and shit like that. You know, they, they, they relate to him because he bald headed or because, you know, other things, facial features and stuff like that. Or the type of clothes he wore, or what he said. You know, you know, it's, it's a whole lot of different other fucking goddamn factors. When it comes into people representing or supporting Tupac, but like when what when one motherfucker like Lay Legend come on, bro, everybody else is doing the same thing I'm doing, and all y'all niggas is just copying me, and I'm the king of this shit, and it's like, nigga, what <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? 
like, nigga, you can't have your thoughts on the motherfucking. Everybody copying you because you got a channel. You the only nigga with a channel. Only nigga that that, that didn't have a channel. I can see if these motherfuckers started making channels in 2015, 2016. That's when you know you got trolls and shit. Because most people, most people who started out on YouTube started out the exactly when it came out. Some niggas, I didn't see some people got fucking YouTube channels from like 2005, 2006. I was like, damn, what the fuck was I doing? More than likely working. And I had no time. Otherwise, I'd have been on this motherfucker. If I could fit my schedule on, and my personal life, and we're getting back and forth on YouTube. Now, a point in my life, yeah, I can get up on this motherfucker and talk and shit. My shit is more structured now. When you're younger, your life ain't that structured. It's just everything comes and it goes. And you get it when you get it and shit like that. You know? But like I said, you know, my, my whole music got everything to do with Tupac. Everything to do with Tupac. You know, because it was like, I make songs just like he makes songs. And I make them, I can make a song and a, a fucking a hour or 10 minutes depend on what mood I am so it's like my music relates to Tupac you know how I how I became into music and being so consistent with my music is because of Tupac because Tupac was that only artist that everybody ever talked about as far as hip hop just as far as hip hop because there are other artists who do the same shit or who can write songs just like that but nobody ever talking about it as far as hip hop Tupac he put out songs just like that. And I can do the same shit. You know? Whether, regardless of what people feel about it, you know, you know, it's just like, you know, when I can write a song like that, I'm like, damn, that just remind, uh, reminds me of some Tupac shit. I can fucking write a song in, 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 a, in a couple minutes or an hour or something like that, have it all done and recorded and shit. I might not be mixed and mastered correctly because, you know, that takes time too, but. As far as writing a song and recording it, it's done. I could knock out another goddamn track in a day. Or another, uh, a third track or whatever. Just depending on how I'm feeling. You know? Like I have a homeboy, you know, good friend from high school who taught me the fundamentals of making beats. Not producing because there's a difference. But he did all that shit with me and everything. And I taught that shit and I had to learn everything myself. Everything I did after that was self-taught. I had to do the mixing and mastering. I had to do all the shit by myself. I have I have no help from from labels or A and Rs or people in the industry or people who know people that know people who are, who are in the industry. I'm doing this shit by myself because it's like niggas like lay legends who ain't gonna want to see you do shit any fucking way. Them the type of niggas that don't that don't want you to see see your ass do shit anyway. But they'll claim to be a part of the fucking brotherhood. Like this is like a close society. Like that nobody want to. I'm not gonna say that nobody wanna be a part of it because there are other people that are part of it who are who are you know who are just neutral. But like I said, like when you start being in the brotherhood, it's probably it's probably a motherfucker who's speaking for the brotherhood. That's like legend. Like legend the one that claimed there's a brotherhood. Like legend the one that, that, that claimed that all of them are secluded and everything like that. Everybody else might not feel the same way about it. Because like I said, a lot of motherfuckers don't like Lay Legend anyway, just because he said Tupac was a lie. And that he pushing that shit. It ain't nothing personal. I don't think, you know, but no motherfuckers don't fuck with him like that. That's what that's what he don't understand. They don't fuck with him like that. You know, so it's like, you know, I, I'm expecting the motherfucker to come along and just try to, you know, and, and just trying to downgrade everything that you do. You don't know shit about you. You don't know what you, what you went to or what, why you on YouTube or anything like that. This nigga just talking and shit. You know, I'm, I'm I'm built for longevity. I'm built for this type of shit. I'm built for commentate. I'm built for that shit. Nigga, we've been doing this for years. Niggas like me been doing this for years. Ever since it, 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 there wasn't no microphone and no fucking computer you can upload your shit on. Nigga, we've been talking. This is what my praise represents. Shit, I went to college in 2008 after four years of being out of high school. Shit, you can see my first video. My first video was about a, it was a music video that I tried to produce or some shit like that. But I was lazy back in college, so I didn't always come to school. And on that day, I just caught a bad, a bad day. That music video didn't come out the way I, the way I planned. 
You know, and that's around the time I became active on YouTube. And some of my first early videos, I was talking about how Tupac was alive. And how people don't see through the bigger picture and, and stupid shit like that. I just didn't name it. I just didn't name it. Tupac was alive. You know, it's like you start putting Tupac alive on your um uh, on your uh on your channel all of a sudden I can see why you would start claiming that you you know you, you were the king of the shit because that's, that's all that's in your witch because it don't even gotta be about Tupac being alive you just put Tupac alive and then talk about some other shit in the whole video just to get fucking people there and witch McCall. that's why I say you know all that claiming people doing clickbaits and shit like nigga come on man like you're doing the same shit you're just doing it in a different way very small because you really ain't got shit else to talk about there ain't really nothing else going on that's popping with you where you can't you ain't gonna say nothing else. I mean like I said, like now now Lay Legend is growing uh growing cookies and shit like that. So, you know, that's that's really the only thing. Other than that, what else this nigga got to talk about? You ain't gonna get no fucking conversation off this nigga. This nigga ain't got nothing else to talk about. His fucking goddamn his content is limited. It's like, you know, I ain't, I ain't hating on people like that. It's just like I'm saying, like, you know, you, you start talking and shit like that. This motherfucker that ain't gonna just let you just sit there and just keep talking. And you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like I said, you talk about other people all you want to. They ain't gonna say shit. But you indirectly talk about other people. Nah. Not right for that. Like I said, I'm versatile. I could mix this shit up, break it down, put it back together without nobody even knowing about shit. I said I do everything myself, self-taught and everything. I just don't have the audience. I don't have the resources and everything. Which is a bad thing. Because I get it now. I done been around long enough. I get it. I understand. I understand. I overstand. I get it. Like I said I was talking about communities in the beginning. It's a conscious community. I came from the conscious community. The hip hop community I came from all that shit As far as on YouTube Everybody pretty every, Like the MREX And the Jordan Towers and every, All the motherfuckers All the motherfuckers That are on YouTube Who are in the black community Period yeah, cause Like I said You know The brotherhood And everything In the conscious community it's like The same shit That started going With this Tupac community You just started to claim this And everything like that you know, at first it's just like, hey, we debating, but we still just cool and everything. But some motherfuckers and took it personal. A whole lot of shit. Like the goddamn brother flight. It's a, it's a whole lot of shit. It's, 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 just, it's just the communities. And it's like I said, we want to talk about this brotherhood of, of all brothers getting together and all niggas is the same. And all, like, we already know that shit is bullshit. We've been seeing that shit as early as, early as fucking uh, Malcolm X and shit. All niggas is not down to which one call me. Like, you can claim all niggas can get down and get together and have a conversation. But what y'all niggas finna do, though? Any niggas can get, get down and have a fucking conversation. But what y'all niggas gonna do, though? And that's just that's just not even putting them all into a group. It's just saying, like, this one nigga who wanna make all this fucking noise and everything. But it's like, nigga, hold on. Like, why you jumping the gun? They're like, yeah, we don't... We still trying to figure this shit out over here. You want to make claims and everything like that? Like, it's like y'all just y'all just pay attention. Y'all just keep watching because that's all you can do. All you can do is just pay attention and keep watching. So anyway, this is another one. Y'all get at me or whatever. I appreciate the likes and subscribe and shit that I'm getting from people. I appreciate that. Peace.